A vital component that affects the ride and handling characteristics of any suspension system is a shock absorber. Used together with a suspension spring, it can effectively manipulate the vehicle's dynamics to engineer's requirements. G'day, I'm Zach. Welcome to Automate. A shock absorber is used to control spring deflection by limiting the transfer of bounce, vibration and spring oscillation to the vehicle's body. This, in turn, provides vehicle control, grip, stability and comfort to the passengers whilst keeping the tyres in constant contact with the road surface. A working shock should be able to reduce the spring oscillations to around one and a half cycles. The way this is achieved is determined by the shock design and the performance requirements of the vehicle under different driving and road conditions. When spring selection is being considered by OEMs, the spring type and rate will be chosen to match the required vehicle dynamics and load carrying capacity. An undampened spring may initially absorb road shocks, but it will then continue to compress and rebound many times until the spring energy is dissipated. These compress and rebound cycles are referred to as spring oscillations, and if left uncontrolled or undampened, will make a vehicle very unstable on the road and uncomfortable to drive. This is why springs alone are not suitable as a suspension system. They must be matched and controlled with an appropriate shock absorber. When attached to a suspension system, the shock absorber uses hydraulic principles to create a dampening effect for the control of bounce, vibrations and spring oscillations. The shock then converts its spring energy into heat energy, which is then dissipated to the air. To watch the full video or any of our automotive training modules, just visit our website to find out how you can become an Automate member today.